Hey guys, what's going on? Corbin from Circa 2020. So as the title states, I got something to show you guys that like I'm super proud of. Uh, really cool. And again, you guys kind of all help out with this. So take some ownership with it. Feel proud. Show your kids, whatever, you know, if you're into racing, that's awesome. If not, I want you guys to know that we do a lot of racing around here. Um, I've done it since I was a kid. So that is part of our life. Now, I don't want to bring that into this channel too much as far as the week-to-week -week, um, racing kind of activity. And, you know, we're actually, I want to make another channel, Circa 2020 Racing. I'm not going to have it up yet, but when we get to the season, I'm going to make another channel. So if you're interested in watching our family's race team, um, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up this year. I just, uh, we're getting close to the season. But I just finished up our first um, cart. We, you know, every year when the race is race season is over, we tear everything down, rebuild what we need to. You know, sometimes we'll do some new powder coating on the chassis, new bearings, engine rebuild, new engine, um, new vinyl, new schemes. Not everybody does that, but I was raised in a family. I've again, I've been racing since I was six or seven years old. I've been raised in a family where. If you look fast, you go fast, so we show up with good-looking stuff. Um, and that's not the case with this guy over here, this micro sprint, but that's going to get some work done to it here shortly, so we're not going to show too much of that. Maybe a transformation over on the other, uh, the other channel I'm going to make. And then I have some news for you. Well, actually, you know what? I'll just do it now, and then we'll save the unveiling for the rest, because what you guys care about really is the tactical part of the channel. We're going to finish up that Glock 80, probably. I should have the rest of the parts here in a week or two. That's going to get built. we got some ARs we're going to build. Uh, the Glock 80 is actually going to be really cool. So really excited about that. And TP9 SC review. Oh, we're going to do, continue our 22 review. As soon as I get an extra free weekend here, hopefully before racing season starts, I'll get a free Saturday or Sunday where... The snow is a pain. I'm going to take a picture and put it in this video of the snow that we're dealing with. It is every other day. It is constant. It's annoying. You can't do anything. It's miserable. It's 20 degrees out. But either way, I'm not going to complain. We're here. We're sucking air. I love it. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of content coming up, guys. Tons of content coming up. Um, we're going to have some fun. So also for the store, store update. SROs, I just, I finally just, the supplier just got a hold of me a minute ago, uh, maybe like an hour ago, and said, hey, how are you doing? And I said, great, can I order my product? Um, so I have the order in, the order is submitted. It's going to take probably a week and a half to two weeks for them to finish everything and get it in that order and get it shipped out. Uh, looks like they didn't have all the SROs ready. Um, it is what it is. I, I don't think you can find anything right now with this Chinese New Year. So we are going to get that, and I'm waiting on a few other things, but that'll be in. I would say for everybody that ordered an SRO, you're looking at four weeks probably yet, unfortunately, but four weeks. Like I said, if you guys want me, you know, if you want a refund, absolutely. But everybody that I called and talked to said they were willing to wait, which is really cool. Thank you for working with me on that, because honestly, this time it was 100% out of my control. Not much I could do there. Did not know that the Chinese have a new year where everything kind of shuts down and they stop production and shipping for like a week and a half and so. But without further ado, we're going to unveil this race car. All right, so check this thing out. As you can see, boom, circa 2020. So this is, we run on dirt. This is a dirt go-kart. Um, this is for my five-year-old. Now, this isn't 100% exactly how it's going to be finished up. We have a couple sponsors we have to get on there yet. And that panel up there, the clear panel, that's actually going to get all stripped and put over to carbon fiber. And uh, we have some other sponsors we're going to put up there. But just I wanted to put it on there just so you guys had an idea of what you're looking at here. Um, Brian Harrow is a local guy here in Central PA. He's the one who did the vinyl work and he absolutely killed it as you can tell i mean this thing is just awesome um the cool thing is is every year i kind of do our own design and 
he, I went over to his place and he had a base design laid out and we kind of put the colors together. Um, sitting there at once, kind of put everything together, what we thought would look good. And he printed it out and he messaged me and he said, dude, you are going to love it. And I do love it. So on the front, it says Young Money. My son's name is Cash. So we call him Young Money, um, as you can see there. Now, a couple other things we did to this. Just mounted up a brand new set of wheels on some tires that weren't quite brand new, but in dirt, sometimes new is not better. Um, did put some brand new bearings in the rear. That thing is fantastic. New bearings in the front, Pro Glide bearings in the front. And then look at this powder coating on the frame. You can see on the frame, on the steering wheel, brand new, same way on the uh, engine shroud here. The powder coating color is called City Lights and it looks phenomenal. So we did the cage, engine shroud, steering wheel, down here on the, the base part of the frame, that was all done. And then all the bumpers, the Nerf bars, that was all done. Uh, with a set or semi-gloss black to kind of contrast really good. Brand new fuel line, brand new, pretty much everything. Um, used seat that I just kind of refurbished and had to cut down for him because I didn't want it to hit the back of his helmet. And also steering fairing, I have to get a mount. That'll mount in there, just protect the little guy's hands and stuff. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So during the winter when we're not doing quite as much with the shooting and everything here because we live in a very cold state for some reason this year. It's been miserable. Um, this is what we do. Got a couple things to tidy up on it yet, but for the most part, I mean, I could have this thing 100% ready to go in, in a day. So we went with this really neat kind of holographic gold. It's just bad to the bone. Um, I love it. I love it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, the little guy, he helped pick out some of these colors. And that's the Ugly Duckling, the 270 Micro. I also have a go-kart, adult go-kart that I race too, but we also do some micro sprint racing. And that baby's gotta get all refinished because she is an Ugly Duckling. Fast car though, just Ugly Duckling. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If you are excited about the racing channel, if you want to follow, um, let me know. Again, we do, uh, I have GoPro footage, all in-car GoPro footage from all the races. This is my five-year-old son, Cash. I have my races on there as well. And I think the GoPro mount is still actually on this car. Yep, it is. So this is a 270cc. So it's a Honda CR250 motor, gets bored and stroke to 270cc, has a huge carburetor, runs on methanol, racing methanol, and uh, you know full torsion bar suspension, um, five speed, clutchless trans. It could have a clutch, but we don't use them, we just bang them. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. That thing just needs, needs some help. So I'm, guys, I'm blown away with how this turned out. I love it. Let me know what you think, and we will see you with some really cool, really good stuff very soon, I promise. Corbin, out. Now, I know the video is not gonna do it any justice, but this snow pile, so I'm over six foot tall, and if I just lean back, I'm in the snow. This is probably at least a five foot snow pile. Now, this is where they're plowing up. We don't have quite as much, because it keeps melting, but this is how much snow we've got just in the last month. Um, I would say we average five inches a week. It just seems to snow one to three inches every three, four days. Um, today we got three inches in a matter of three hours. Now, luckily the temperature picked up and it melted. And that's really the problem. If we lived in an area, I know the video quality is terrible and I'm sorry, but if we lived, I'll spin around this way. If we lived in an area where it was cold all the time, below freezing, the snow wouldn't be that big of a deal because it would just be snow. We get this accumulation, melting, accumulation, melting, accumulation, melting, where it just makes everything a sloppy freaking mess. It's just, it's terrible. So anyways, guys, I wanted to show you that. I'm not trying to blow you guys off. I'm not trying to not go out and shoot. It's just pretty freaking miserable here in central Pennsylvania. 
So until the next time we see you, we'll see you.